The South Downs Way is a long distance footpath and bridleway running along the South Downs in southern England. The trail runs 100 miles from Winchester in Hampshire to Eastbourne in East Sussex. Join me as I navigate the chalk bridleways and rolling hills of the south, check out some of the greatest sunsets and sunrises I've seen to date and interact with some wonderful people along the way. Welcome to day two on the South Downs Way. Jobs are good and <laughs> jobs are good and legs feel fresh. Gonna put a couple of miles in and then I'm gonna put some, uh, and have a drink and stuff. Well, here we go, another glorious day. Sun shining, middle of heat wave. Crack on. I just stopped in that cafe for uh, had some avocado and egg on toast, <laughs> carrot cake and a coffee if you're wondering. And we're back, back on trail, sun in my face, walking past some of these massive houses. Look at that. On these hikes, I often use them as a time to think about stuff, obviously, because you spend a lot of time on your, in your own brain. So I, I spend a lot of time like, packaging stuff in my brain, if that makes any sense. Like, going over situations, like, so, like filing, it's like refiling stuff in my brain. And sometimes, you might get a bit, I might get a bit melancholy, or I might go down a path that's, uh, you know, I've got to chew over some stuff in my brain, and it sort of puts me on a bit of a, I just want to be in myself, and focus on it, and, and hike which doesn't necessarily mean it's good for vlogging the hike itself because when I'm like that I don't really feel like talking to you lot if I'm honest we yeah just feel like talking to myself inside me noggin but then I'm like oh well I can't just do that I can't just think about stuff and then not you know film dead animals on the floor or gates or whatever but I'll get what I can today, I feel like, you know, it is a journey and it? it's one of them ups and downs. Got a lot of stuff coming up. I want to make some right decisions so that I can go in the right direction with my life. And, um, and that sometimes takes time. I'm aware that this is waffling. It's the second day of this heat wave, so you can't do me for it, mate. You can't do me for anything. Because it's heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave hazy. You can't, I can't be done for anything. Disclaimer. Heatwave hazy, if it's boring, if it's not funny, if it's too extreme, Heatwave hazy did it. It's fine. Wait, oh, what's that? Gunshot. Uh. So, I'll bring you up to date. I mean, look at this, look this, for example. Look how good this is. So, chamfered it down into there, into there. Nice. I enjoy that, I enjoy stuff like that. So, I'll still bring you stuff like that. It's just... You know, <laughs> just got serious head on a little bit of serious thoughts in Ed. So I don't feel like goofing around on here. But we're strictly business anyway today. I'm fancying just beasting myself and doing over 30 miles today. Because I didn't get as far as I wanted to yesterday for one reason or another. Preoccupied with stuff and it was hot and I didn't want to overdo it so I don't know how far I did maybe 18 19 miles something 18 maybe but today we're just gonna smash it I think that's my plan cut to me crying in a heap covered in sweat it's a different hike and each one of these national trails will be very different and have its own personality and this one's really good because it's sort of it takes me through lots of little hamlets and little villages and I get to like ogle at people's houses which is one of the things I like to do. It's one of the things that, you know, one of the things about me is I like to look at houses, <laughs> roofs and gardens and stuff like that. Right, South Downs way this way, is it? Yes. <laughs> and there's a lot of flat stuff, there's quite a little bit of like country lane, so you can really get, a, you know, get some miles under your feet. Head down, arse up and all that. Sheep man, they've got the right idea look. 
They're all knackered. <laughs> I know how you feel, lads. I know how you feel. Prime real estate, bit of shade. Get yourself in there. Look at this lad here, look. Just smashed. They're all just smashed in from heat, aren't they? Look at lollipop head on. You gotta have lollipop head on though, it's just giving me a bit of... Keeps that sun out of smashing my eyes in. <sighs> Mad dogs and Englishmen. Sheep couldn't handle it. All animals are just like scur scurrying for shade. I'm out here trying to do 30 miles. I know my limits though, and also, on this particular hike, there's a lot, there's a lot of water stops. My bottles are always full, so I act too fussed. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about bonking out or drying up like a little shriveled pork scratching her out. And this is the views. It's just pleasant, you know? That's the word I'll use for it. Pleasant. England's great, not so green and pleasant lands. As you can see, everything's, this would usually be green, but because of the heat wave, we're not in there. Uh, there's not been much rainfall. It's all sort of cacked itself. Britain's yellow and pleasant lands. Been this for a while. I can't get me, I can't be like excited about what's next because I just don't know. So you just, I'm just sort of taking it all in as it comes. Whereas like on the Cleveland way, I'd be like, right, I know that there's this, view coming up or I'm gonna to get to the sea soon I knew it but here it's just the unknown middle of road <laughs> oh car comes still going still doing it still doing walk bys though aren't I deep deep in thought still doing walk bys Cross that busy road under the tunnel and then we've got some decent uphill but we're in the shade of this woodland and I'm all for it. Before I was like I don't need sun cream it's fine but and I didn't use any up Cleveland way and it was kind of alright but I've got a little thing of factor 30 just to foot back at neck and my legs because uh, I was feeling it a little bit, they were getting a bit scorchy. <laughs> yeah. I suppose put them on, you're supposed to put it on your tattoos as well, aren't you, so they don't go all cranked, so. I know Mr. Butler, hey, hoi! Yeah. I know Mr. Butler wouldn't be happy if I was just subjecting his artwork to raw sunshine. Sunshine. This woodland is beautiful, the trees are so tall, look. Oh, look at that with light coming through. Are you loving it? <laughs> I feel better now. I feel great, in fact. Uh, I've got, been going a good few hours, but this morning, I want feeling it. I just want feeling like talking to you. And when I say you, I just mean this camera. And you. I feel like I do talk to you a lot, but I wasn't feeling you <laughs> this morning. I just wanted to do my own thing and just. I mean, you don't even need to know this, do you? But it's nice to share everything just because there might be other people who feel like this. But just couldn't be janked to talk to anyone or couldn't like put on a sort of like a, a happy face or do stuff that's. I just didn't want to do anything other than just be in my own mind and in my own thoughts and just think about things. Instead of having to be like, ah, oh, here we And this is a. So. I did it, a couple of hours, hom nom, packaged a few things around in noggin, filed it all away nicely, and we're good, we're back, we're back, sun cream all over, legs and back at neck, <laughs> in this luscious, Luscious, a lot of beach. Is it beach? Beach woodland. So there's a, there's a, there's a fair old climb up out of here. 
But I feel like I've had it all my own way. It's been all sort of, there's been no great elevations or anything. It's all the pathways just very well trodden in. Very easy hiking. Good hiking, no excuse not to get some, some good miles in today. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what there's not a lot of on the, the uh, South Downs ways, medics. I've not seen, uh, there's not been so many animals in need of a medic. And I don't know why, maybe it's just, <laughs> up north they're just all of it show out there, they're just like, hey. Tapping out left, right and centre. Down here they're a bit more reserved. Probably just go away somewhere nice and private and die. So they're just like, ah, there, middle of the path, bosh, here yeah. Look at all these little shelters, look. Dustin, hey there. He's been busy, hasn't he? There he has, look. Little... Still going through this wood. I'm loving it, it's giving me life. It's just a little change of scenery. There's always stuff to look at when you're in a woodland. Have I gone the wrong way? Because it seems to be taking me down the other side. No. Not too far down, come on. Preserve yourself. Who's this bonny lad? Hampshire down sheep like the one grazed the hillside. Get on here and have a look over there. It's 10 past one. Uh, the heat has really ramped up now. So, uh, feel the old skin tingling and the bulb fizzing a little bit. <laughs> Logged off, but we're good. I feel like I'm making good progress. I've not even deployed me sticks. It just doesn't seem to but I'm sure I will in you know in the next few days but because it's so kind of level I feel like I don't need them. Medic! Sorry getting a bit desperate. Oh come on, I'm not in the mood for this. Come on. Lift it up, bit of shoulder work. Shouldn't have to put that shoulder work in. Tut tut tut. Nice. We. Yeah, about 15 paces max. Ranking it on back at neck, innit? Oh, that's better. Dude, I took lugs into here. I took the old pork scratchings into the top of there to stop them getting flame grilled. <laughs> oh, I can't do that, that hurts. Get them out, get them out. Quite blind in this stuff when you're walking on it with sun. But I'm looking over there and it looks like it's going up top of that hill. So that is going to, with sun on back. Ooh, that's going to test the old legs. Another trig point. So this is the real first sort of, I feel like testing terrain. It's up and down, up and down. I can see the path sort of undulating up and down there. And I know, oof, that thing's pretty hot, but it's nice. Feels nice to have a little bit of a sort of ups and downs. Not too much though, but it's nice to get a bit of a sweat on. Look at this. All these little poppies and this lot. In memoriam, Joseph, 15, 1940. Just tucked away in there, look. 
Fair dues. Fair dues. I've deployed the old uh, walking pole. <laughs> yeah. Don't think about else to say about them. It's hot, mate. It's really hot. It's sailed over 30 degrees now. It's like 30 odd. Uh, keep getting a little bit of shade from some trees, but it's mainly just out in it. So I've deployed these because we've had some ups and downs. So I'm just trying to take a bit of pressure off legs because trying to do a trying to do a big couple of days. Uh, there's not a cloud in the sky, so there's no respite from it. So I'm just drinking plenty of water. I'm going to stop and redo my sun cream soon. Whew. Not much to report, mate. I'm just sort of head down, crunching the miles out as much as I can. <laughs> the tap of joy. It, can you? I've got an out in tank for this stuff like oh that looks good as well sorry uh, not bad but uh, you know it's a tough gig when the CEO of Latch and Locks can't even muster the strength to talk you through something as good as that I'm uh, I'm warm, <laughs> warm as. Been hiking now for roughly eight hours and I'm gonna do another four hours. That's 12 hours and then just see where I'm at at 12 hours and then look for somewhere to get my head down. I'm airing feet out, man. I've come in here under this beech tree. <coughs> just get a bit of respite from sun. Air my feet out a little bit. It's only 10 minutes, 15 minutes and then I'll bat on again. But I'll tell you what, getting shoes off and that, oh, joy. Oh, I'll get blistered, never mind. This is nice, nice wild meadow. And someone's cut the grass around these trees, which makes them look, makes it all look very nice. Also a good place to pitch as well. Still same gear. It's been like this for a long time. Uh, not seen a single soul, which is good. Solitude, 10 out of 10. I'm just pootling along at my own pace. In my own thoughts. I've not been doing much filming and chatting because when it's all pretty samey, there's no point like jumping on and showing you the, the same stuff. I'm just jumping on now to tell you that, I don't know why. Jumping on to tell you that there's no point in me jumping on to tell you the same stuff. And uh, my banter has gone down to... We're, down, we're, on a, we're on low, we're running on fumes actually. All day, all day the chat has been a little bit under par today. Not been feeling chitter chatter. Uh, what time is it? It's coming up to maybe six o'clock now. So we've done ten hours. And I still feel okay. 10 hours is so hot though, man. The only problem is it's just sapping me. I'm burning. Oh. So, yeah, got to be aware of that. Once the sun starts to lower its sky, which it doesn't look like it's doing, man. It's like it's, it's on one today. It's hard to sun. But I'm aware that I don't want to break myself for the rest of the hike. So... What is it, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna put another three hours cap on it. Three hours lollipop lady cap on it. And uh, we'll see where I'm at around the three hour mark. I don't know what to expect. Do you know, I kind of feel like I want a pub. 
I would love a pub actually, love a pint. <laughs> I'd also take one of my camping meals and a lie down. I'd have to pitch in shade though, because everywhere is just <sighs> warm. this nice <laughs> glorious hey You see, well, you can't see on this camera, but there's all the wind farms out at sea. I wonder what that is then. That's my first sight of the big blue. <laughs> that gives me a springing step. Beautiful. Looks like that sun's going to finally poke its head back down over that hill within the next couple of minutes and uh, although it's uh, a lovely little sight I can't say it'll be missed <laughs> she's been a cruel mistress today is that son um, but we've done uh, over 30 miles we've done maybe 32 33 miles today uh, I'm gonna do maybe another one or two just to get over this hill and oh, horse flies man probably not gonna oh, oh, f off probably not gonna set the tent up just sleeping bag and bug net over me noggin and that'll do me I'll, i won't take much rocking tonight but i am hungry i am hungry i'm gonna have something to eat I'll have one of my freeze-dried meals and hit the hay but i've got to find somewhere to kip first because the problem is it's all flint. It's sharp stone. So I don't want to pop my airbed. Or me kidney. So I'll crack on and try and find somewhere to bed down for at night. This is going to be it. There's a road just there which is quite loud but... I'm tired. I don't want to get to the road and then not be able to find anything on the other side of it, so. It's just these motorbike dudes who are going well quick, but they'll chill out. It's half eight. Everyone will chill out. The path's just on the other side of this. There's the path, but I reckon if I just, I don't know, sleeping bag in it. I'm not using tent. It's not gonna rain, look at it. <laughs> just hushed to sleep by the sounds of by the sounds of midlife crisis is going by on two wheels <laughs> hey I might not even blow my airbed up because there's a lot of ow be back a lot of this gear hey up mate which is uh, flint which is going to pop my airbed if I oh. so that well, you wouldn't have seen me there if I was down at I was down at digs, you wouldn't have seen me. But yeah, this, this, it's all over here. And that's what they used to make tools, like cutting tools, so it's so sharp. It'll just sever me, uh, what's he doing? Look, he's going through that wood. I was gonna camp in there. That's a lucky one, wasn't it? Is he going in? Nah. He is. He's gone in woods. That would have been a nightmare because I was just about to keep on that path in woods. <laughs> Well, that's a good news. So, yeah. Very sharp, so I can't be walking around it bare feet. Probably can't even get my sleep. Uh, I might even rip my sleeping bag. Oh, come on. There must be some. It all grounds like this anyway, look. They're growing. They grow their crops on it down here. 
God knows how they get nutrients out of it, man. It's just all... It's just all that flint. Stern. Right. I'll cook some food. Voila. <laughs> Bed. Bedroom for night. Talk you through it. <laughs> Whatever that is. Trekology pillow. I'm just using this thin little thing here because I don't care if it rips. Uh, I'm going to have a little go underneath and try and move all sharpest of stones. Oh, that's going to actually wreck my back, in it? Might deploy airbed, might not. Might just lie on top of this, which is the Rab. Uh, neutrino. <laughs> what are you? Oh, it's a 400, mate. It's, yeah, it's the Rab Neutrino 400 sleeping bag. That should be plenty enough. And, uh, yeah, there's my views, mate. Oh, not bad. I've earned this kip, that's for sure. So, so, so excited to have this, mate. <laughs> Spaghetti bolognars. I can't put you anywhere, because you'll just fall over onto these stones and break yourselves, won't you? Oop. You promise not to fall over. I'll try and get you down there. Oh, that's not going to work, is it, mate? You're not. You're not happy there, are you? Come on. You there? It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's all we've got. All we've got is each other, lads. Right. <laughs> oh. Spaghetti bolognogs. Well into it, but oh my god. off what's the point mate I'm gonna stick this one out I've got nothing else to do come on focus focus on that spag ball you absolute heathen it's because we're losing light in it come on spaggers right I tell you what I ain't going anywhere I'm not eating this until it's focused on that focus on the spaghetti ball <laughs> there we go look hey was that worth it or what look at that Now me, come on, come on lad, I know it's getting dark, but come on, it's because it is getting dark, it struggles. We did it. Mmm. Ah, oh, we did it. Good day today. Plenty of miles in. At moon, it's full moon. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I might get a time lapse going. I ain't got enough batteries. It was tough going today. There was a lot of repetitive, like samey sort of grounds. A few deer down there. That's quite sick. Um, I'm just sidetracked by this moon. I can see it there. Look, see that? <laughs> Ye old full moon. Ninety-eight percent. I reckon it'll be about. Be bang on tomorrow. But that's as full as it's gonna get. Look at it rising, man. It looks orange. Oh, this is sick. I've got to go anyway, because I want to eat this. And I want to film that moon, I think, if I can. Great moon. <laughs> but yeah, cheers to a good day's hiking. That's the moon. Look at that. Isn't she bonnie? Lovely stuff. Skies are doing summer. I like the look at it. I'm getting a right treat while I have my tea. It's getting dark, last at light now. Look at the moon, man. <laughs> I'm gonna that from me, from me, uh, from me pit. I'm just gonna watch that from pit, I guess. Thanks very much, Mother Nature. Making up for all blasting with sun today, ain't she? Whew. Right, map time. Right, map time from the future. But first, watch this. There you go. <laughs> so, Fern dropped me back off here where I finished. And we were off. 
This was a big day, mate. It was so hot, and we put some put some miles in all across here. It's quite nice, actually, and I think. The sustainability centre is where I stopped and had some breakfast cracked on. There's some lovely houses around here. Over these tops again, lovely views. Um, down through this tunnel and into these woods, which was a lovely little change of scenery. It afforded me a little bit of shelter. And I came up through here. Over the tops, it was quite samey, so I didn't do much filming, although... The video probably says differently as I was just waffling nonsense. So along here, some nice views. Down here. Mate, to be honest, and I'm really sorry about this, but I'm really naffing up map time because I can't remember. It was so long ago, mate, I can't remember. Down here, I <laughs> came down here, around here. Putting a shift in, mate, putting a shift in. But we're down here. To uh, cocking. That's where I got uh, there's some water, and I just wet my cap and put it back on. That was nice. If I'm honest, where did I even? All right, so God, me really did put a shift in. Is it possibly there? The skies were amazing, the sunset and the moonrise was just fantastic. I think, I'm going to say that this is the road with all the bikes on. Right, so the truth is, I don't really know where I am. Because it's been so long and I didn't have this map with me, so... <laughs> I don't actually know. Yep, so that's my <laughs> that's map time, guys. Uh, sorry about that, but you got to meet me, Robin, and I'm sorry about that. So I'm somewhere on here. I will. <laughs> I'll do better next time, I promise. I will, I know, because I don't have a clue where I am and what I'm doing. All right, sorry. Um, so that's map time. <laughs> We're, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with map time, so I'll just, uh, let's go back to the past. I hope I've done map time there from the future. Right, I'm off. Um, consider subscribing if you're not already and click the bell notification if you want to be notified of the next upload which will be the next episode of this I think and thanks for watching take care of this end <laughs>